All right, stromboing uh, students out there. So uh, we are here in Fairbanks. Yeah. I'm here with Earl Manian, and we're trying to keep warm. We got a gig up here in just a few minutes. Yep. And uh, since Earl is here, I thought it would be super cool to have him demonstrate this crazy, fast, brutal bowing technique that he does. Uh, and he can explain it a little bit. So Earl, uh, and I'm going to flip this around. How do I do it once it's on there? I think, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> is this? No, like, that's not that it. Doesn't, that doesn't do it. it. I All think right, I'm just going to have to stop and turn it around. Stop and turn around. Either that or I'll just leave it like, no, Or I'll just video. run around to the side. <laughs> we are such amateurs. All right, here we are. We turn the camera around. All right, so Earl, so just demonstrate this crazy thing that you do. So in the in the in your book, yes. in your book, the exercises, right, right. So, um, but it just you're supposed to build up to making it go faster. So how are you getting that crisp articulation? What do you think is making it so defined? What are you doing with your hand? Is it tension, looseness? What what gives it that? Crisp? It is tension. So it's it, but the thing is, it's like I was I was I think I said it in the book sort of. But yeah. what happens is you do have to be tense. So it's, it's kind of what all your teachers tell you not to do. Right. But um, you find in the moments in between to ab, ab, like to, you have to release. You have to find the microseconds in which your muscles can just kind of like Yeah, chill. microseconds, that's the key. Yeah, where you oh. just, your hand does chill for a second. <laughs> Hello. Hey, we're doing an interview. Yeah, so where your hand just chills just for like a split second in between right. the next attack. So do that in slow motion so we can kind of see, like break it down really slow, like, like what happens. So, right, so like, in that space of time, my hand is like, like chill, like uh -huh. here, and then. So it's really coming from your upper arm, isn't it? Right, but I am this this uh, my my index finger is absolutely. I think it's my index finger that's responsible for the articulation. Ah. So is it off the string? Do you think is it like no, a bounce? It it's not. Sounds like a ricochet. It's not off the string. <laughs> <laughs> It's not actually, because when I first started my, my metal band back in the day, I did that riff by doing. Ah, yes, right. I used to do that. Right. That's how I used to do it. Right. But, A ricochet. Yeah. Right. So when I uh, when we when we listened to the recordings back, there was a lack of heaviness. Yeah. That happened when I would go. The French style, French <laughs> metal, <laughs> whatever it is, right? So it wasn't, it just wasn't cutting it, and like you could sonically, you could really hear it. Yeah. So that's how I started developing it slowly, because I really wanted maximum. See, there's like a weight. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No, it's vicious, man. It's, well, you call it brutal. That's what it is, man. It's like With the umlau. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> so show it to us again, man. So, I think your bi your bicep gets yep, tense. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Your bicep absolutely tenses, but it also then it releases. It's almost like the same muscles that you would use for an up bow, for like a flying staccato, like up bow. You know? Yeah. Isn't it? Right? Yeah, I guess so. I right. can't do it. It's kind of like bicep. You know, kind just kind of like force it. Yeah, exactly. But with any anything like that, like you gotta seriously. Work up to it. Work up little, to it. Just or you're gonna hurt. You're gonna yourself. hurt yourself. You're absolutely yeah. gonna hurt yourself yeah. because uh, I did when I when I was first learning how to do this. Yeah. So anybody who wants to try this, please do not just start off doing this right yeah. away. That's not really a good idea. Yeah. yeah. And so the way you talk about learning it is just to do the motion slowly and just little by little, notch at a time on the right. metronome. And be hyper aware of your arm too, of like when when can I release it. You know, is that no? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when 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 am I dropping? And is it always that rhythm? Da -da 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 -da. No, you can go.
you can hurt yourself in many ways. Yeah, yeah. But so, so when you have like the more tremolo kind of thing, like where maybe in a in in, in a metal context, there'd probably be like blast beats behind you too, mm -hmm. like everybody going at the same time. Right. Um, there's probably also a limited amount because you don't have time to like drop the drop and find those tiny moments of relaxation. Yeah, not a whole lot of time in there to relax. Right. So basically, what I'm saying is that like. There are, with any song, no songs, just like right, the entire forever. time, yeah. forever. Right. So you kind of have to build up. Pick your spots. Pick your spots. And then you know that you are going to be tense for like this amount of time. And right. that when you so, do relax, make sure you take that moment yeah. to just kind of go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going on. Man. Very cool, man. Thank you for explaining that for everybody. We appreciate it. Thank you, Tracy. You're a monster. <laughs> Awesome. They go well. Beautiful, man. That's great. Awesome. That's perfect. Awesome. That's great, man. I'm going to put that up on my side. That's going to be like.